this lesson, you are going to learn about two-way tables. By the time we're done, you will know how to use two-way tables to answer a variety of different questions and be able to read them. This two-way frequency table shows the number of male and female students who wear glasses, wear contacts, or wear neither glasses nor contacts. We're going to use this information to answer some questions. Question A. How many of the female students surveyed wear contacts? We see that there are, from the table, that there are 12 females who wear contacts. When we have questions about real-world situations, it's important to answer with a sentence. Question B. What is the total number of male students surveyed? So here we're going to calculate what's called a marginal total. Just like the margin of a book is the part of the book around the outside of the main portion, the margin of a two-way table is the totals that we can calculate that are outside of the regular part of the table. So to figure out the total number of male students in the survey, we just need to add the males that wear glasses, the males that wear contacts, and the males that wear neither. So we see there were 53 males surveyed. Question C, what percent of the students surveyed wear neither glasses nor contacts? Now what I've done already is calculate the marginal totals for both the rows and the columns. So we see there are 53 males in the survey, 55 females, 26 students in the survey who wear glasses, 17 students in the survey who wear contacts, 65 students who were neither in the survey. And we also now know that there are 108 students in the survey. We can get that by either adding the column totals, 53 plus 55, or adding the row totals, 26 plus 17 plus 65. Back to the question. What percent of the students surveyed wear neither glasses nor contacts? We see there are there were 65 students in the survey who, who wore neither glasses nor contacts, and there are 108 students in the survey. Using that information, we can calculate the percent of students surveyed who wear neither glasses nor contacts. We'll start by writing a fraction. 65 out of 108. We'll turn that into a division problem. 65 divided by 108, we'll get a decimal here, 0 0.602. And then we move the decimal place over twice and get 60.2%. about 60.2 percent wear neither glasses nor contacts. Question D. What percent of the students surveyed are male students who wear glasses? Now here we're still working with the total number of students in the survey. We're still working with those 108 students. But now we want to look inside the table to look to find the male students who wear glasses. So we're only talking about those 18 male students who wear glasses and we can find we can change that to a percent so we have 18 out of 108 students in the survey are males with glasses do a little division problem 18 divided by 108 and we get 0.167 if we do a little rounding. Change that to a percent. About 16.7 percent are males with glasses. Question E. What percent of students who wear glasses are female? Now we need to read this question very carefully because we are not talking about all 108 students anymore. 
Let's read it again more slowly. What percent of students who wear glasses are female? The students who wear glasses are a condition. In this case, we're only going to look at the students who wear glasses. We're wondering what percent of them are female. So we're only looking at the glasses column in this case. Once again, the question, what percent of students who wear glasses are female? We notice there are only 26 students who wear glasses. So that's our total for this percent calculation. And we're wondering what percent of those 26 students are female. So we'll do 8 out of 26. Do a little division, 8 divided by 26. And we get about 0 0.308. and change that to a percent. About 30.8 percent of students with glasses are female. So this example highlights how important it is to read these questions carefully. In this case we are only looking at the 26 students who wear glasses. We were not looking at all 108 students in the survey. Question F. The Better Vision Eyewear store in Dubuque has decided to open a branch that caters just to women. How will the owners change their inventory to accommodate their female customers? So this store wants to focus on making sure that they have the ideal inventory for women. Well, I don't think we need to get too technical on this example. We notice, highlighted in red, that men tend to at least the males in the survey tended to favor glasses over contacts and the females in the survey tended to favor contacts over glasses. So the owners should make sure they have plenty of contacts because females appear to favor them. I hope these examples were helpful as you learn about two-way tables. Two-way tables are helpful for analyzing data when we have two categories.